back. What's going on guys, this is Chase here. And um, as you know, we love doing travel and travel videos, but we've recently gotten into um, Airbnbs. Through all, all our travels, we've just enjoyed all the hospitality and learning all that. And now we have one of our own. So we wanted to show you our little cabin, the Lightfoot cabin in uh, Big Bear area Running Springs. So let's go and take a tour and see what it's all about. So what's really interesting about this cabin is that technically, initially, we started it as like our second home, like our cabin to get away for holidays and some weekends and things like that. But it's it's opened up to so much more. We were thinking, well, we are gonna enjoy it, but how come we can't rent it out during the days that we're not here? And that's how we started. And it's um, gotten so good that we've just put our all into it. You know, we when we do something, we wanted to make sure that we did the very best that we could. And we hired a designer and made sure we got all the furniture that we wanted. So there's a lot of cool surprises out there. So just as a little background. Um, so this is the Lightfoot cabin. And we actually started this house um, as a color of like baby blue when we first bought it. I'll insert a picture here, here and here. So baby blue and then there was a red deck. As you can see, the deck is no longer red. It is like a cedar color. And the reason why we chose that is because there's like a cedar color inside the house and it has natural cedar planks on the walls. And we um, really like that. And we wanted to kind of highlight it because we're kind of um, in the woods, as you can see. So it's really nice. We're surrounded by all this pine trees and you're pretty secluded, but still pretty close to the to everything you would want. Um, skiing, slopes, um, nice restaurants at Lake Arrowhead, but um, it's good weather here. You're always shaded. And so it's just a nice place to get away. So our cabin is called the Lightfoot Cabin and it is a couple's getaway. So for you to unwind and relax and just enjoy each other's time. And we try to do our best to kind of promote that. So here we've got a little hammock, as you can see we made sure we stained the deck so that it's weather resistant because it does snow here a lot and rain and we want to make sure that this lasts for a long time and one of the main things we want to do is provide a lot of like hangout and seating area where you could um, congregate and talk um, you know we recently added i don't know if you could see but there are some string lights up here and so um that's what we kind of wanted and what's unique about this property is there's actually um, this deck kind of wraps around this whole property, which is really nice. So I was going to start off with just showing you um, this part, which is the front deck area, which actually goes into the uh, main living area, as you can see there. So we've got a little barbecue pit there. We've got nice outdoor seating and some heaters if you want to hang out here and obviously the string lights. But um, let me show you the inside. So we could take a little tour with Ace. All right, well, here we are inside. And the first thing you kind of see is once you first enter here, is that there's a landing. If you open the door some more, there's the loft area. So the main level is down there. So it's kind of a tri-level feel. So there's the main level, we've got a stair screen here. These are just one by twos. Um, they used to actually be nothing here, it was just open. So we needed to have something to kind of protect it. Um, and then we just have a railing here. We've just recently added some like decorations. So it's looking really nice. So here we go down the steps and we're greeted by the dining area. So we're kind of going with this whole um, tree theme here because Christmas tree and you're kind of in the woods, so it's kind of perfect. Um, and then it's a pretty open concept here. We've got um, the living area where you kind of sit. There's also the Christmas tree there. And then there's the fireplace, which is really nice. And then we've got a middle island area. L, hi love. Hi. And then we've got the kitchen. We pretty much, uh, most of that white area used to be cedar, but we painted it 
and we also painted the accent um, uh, beams same color as the outside more of that black dark blue look and this kitchen was pretty much the same except that we just changed the color of the cabinets and here is kind of the full layout of the area Hey Liv, I was wondering about the kitchen. Could you tell me more about the kitchen? Sure. So um, this kitchen pretty much stayed um, the same in terms of the layout of it. We just changed the front cabinets here to make sure that it was soft closed, mm. which, you know, we didn't think was actually that important, but it's actually really nice. Uh, of course, we changed out the huge fridge. It was like sticking out probably another foot here, way yeah, too big. It was. So um, this was kind of our must have. So. This is our pop of color in this cabin, so we love it. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> what made you decide that color? We love the color. Yeah, <laughs> we just love it. Um, we just added um, some floating shelves here, more for decor pieces and for cups, so nothing too crazy. Yeah, because it wasn't there before. Yeah, it there was, was nothing. Just, yeah. What, there was no cabinets There's or anything. There's no cabinets. Um, this is plenty of storage for um, this Airbnb. Um, we just added a microwave. There wasn't any microwave. And we wanted to kind of keep with the theme of that retro um, retro vibe. So we love this fridge. Uh, I also love this knife <laughs> set. <laughs> I actually want it for my house. It's really cool. I'm very proud of it. How does this stay on there? Is it just magnetic? It's just magnet, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Really awesome. Um, yeah, let's put that back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Our little coffee center here. Um, we get our coffee from the coffee house down the street. It's like half a mile from here. Um, it's delicious, really good, and the guests really love it. And of course, we had to match our smeg fridge yeah, with our smeg match. kettle. <laughs> cool. Tell us about the living room area, or living well, room. maybe that that entrance then. Oh uh, yeah, this is our kind of our entry bench. Um, not really much to it. We just added a mirror, added a bench. There used to be a. Uh, I think it was like a little console table here yep, that it we was. moved out and it just was filled with games that we actually moved the game center on this side instead and also holds our towels, um, little knickknacks here and there and we changed yeah. out all the lights as well. Mm -hmm. So all Look. the lighting is from Polly and Bark. We love the bulb style so you can see that everywhere all over the house. There is a lot the of moment bulbs. you enter. A living space. Did you already go over the dining table? I didn't. <laughs> This is my favorite, actually. I love this dining table. Um, it's a tulip style, which is very common from the 50s, 60s era. So it's, um, uh, yeah, it kind of fit the space perfectly. The one that was here before was way too big. It was a rectangle, and it just didn't really match the space very well. And these chairs are velvet and cane, and I love this so much. Again, we're bringing in like a little bit of color here, just very subtle with that green. And then our new light and living space. So we wanted to make it very inviting and cozy. This chair was probably the only thing we kept it was. <laughs> from That's the original correct. house. I love this chair. It's uh, it's a little bit more fragile looking, but you know, it's um, something that I feel really completes the space. It's all leather and the wood, solid wood there. Uh, we added this uh, kind of a day bed. Mm -hmm. Very relaxing to kind of just take a nice nap there. I was so against it in the beginning, but I did love the color, but now it's <laughs> yeah. like my favorite s sitting area. We love leather. Um, we think it just makes the place a little bit more luxurious and just kind of more polished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I agree. Actually, awesome. a small thing that I like is the area rug. The area rug. Because I love like creating a space for it. Like that's yeah. the living space. This is the living space. Which is really nice. And then what Chase had to have was the hanging chair i did <laughs> and i actually love it a lot it's super comfortable and everyone loves to sit in this chair mm -hmm. and you it swivels all day around so which is really nice to enjoy you know the living space talking to somebody you know swing it around you can enjoy the view outside and in mm -hmm. turn this way you can enjoy the wonderful fireplace over here which is <laughs> april's favorite this is my this was my must-have with the change out the old fireplace it used to be an old Ben Franklin stove, which was really dangerous and old and didn't work very well. So this is actually converted to gas. So really efficient and safe to use, really easy to use as well. And it just looks beautiful. This is our statement piece. Yeah. <laughs> and and not just that, just just it just makes it so much less headache 
when it's just a flip of a switch. Flip of a switch, no wood that you have to bring in. Right. And it actually no works mess. the place up pretty well. Um, we kept this pretty simple. We just added two bar stools here. And I think there was four here before, so we kind of just kept it at a minimum. Um, this is the other thing that I really love. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful brass fixture here. It's actually an outlet light, but it's a solid brass rod that runs up and just a single bulb. And I think it's so simple, yet beautiful. Okay. We've got a little record player here <laughs> with yep. uh, lots of records that we've just been curating over the years. It's actually our personal one, so it does mean a lot to us. So. It adds a little bit more personality to the space, which we love. And just like what I said, the main level deck is right there. Cool, and this is pretty much the main level. Let's go check out the bathroom and see what that's like. Okay. This is our full bath here. Um, we pretty much did a whole new bathroom. <laughs> it was. The one that was here was actually wasn't bad. It was just outdated. Um, we put a brand new tub in, um, new new vanity, which kind of carries out that wood slat here. It's mm -hmm. also soft clothes, all new fixtures. Um, we also kept this lighting that was already there too because we really love it and it matched our theme. Um, yeah, this is just wallpaper on the back wall here. Mm -hmm. We added another floating shelf to kind of tie in the kitchen shelves. Um, added the wainscoting, mm -hmm. um, new toilet. New yeah, there's actually floor. depth to this wainscoting. It was actually made specifically for this. So this is not just like a stick on or anything. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this bathroom was probably pretty much the overhaul. We swapped out the tile on the ground and we even added this Ari event, which is one of my must haves. And the biggest thing was the toilet, changing that out because it was not efficient at all. So adding this rod with this tile all the way up to the ceiling. Just again, you know, completing that look. Um, although we did want a shower, we realized that, you know, having a tub would be really nice for um, um, just having multi-purpose rather than just one use only. So, Oh yeah. no, we also added a can light, which actually That's made right. a huge difference. I forgot about that. Because without it, it's actually pretty dark in here. Yeah, it's dark. And then we took out the top heater that actually dropped right. the ceiling quite a bit. So just taking That's that gone. out gave it a little bit more space. Mm -hmm. Even though it is a really small bathroom, it just gave a little bit more space, which is yep. great. I agree. Yeah. Oh, we also raised the shower a little bit just to give more headroom. Mm -hmm. uh, Love that. Now we're outside of the bathroom. Just wanted to go over a little bit here. Um, we do have a Polaroid and we kind of encourage all of our guests to take pictures. And I think it's so sweet to just almost like build a collection of like friends and just people who have enjoyed the cabin. So it's really nice. And we usually leave a little note here for whoever's next. The guests who are coming in in a few minutes is on their honeymoon so we're so honored to have hosted them <laughs> this is our guest book and we leave them a little wine and a little dessert just for fun okay now let's go up to the loft area so up the main level here's the entrance door let's go all the way up here as you can see there is carpet here rather than the main floor the main floor is actually a vinyl um, plank so that it is more durable and more um, weather resistant so we were just worried about that piece and so initially the main level was all um, laminate, switched it to vinyl. And now this up, upstairs loft area actually used to be just a subfloor, but now there's actually a carpet and it's really soft. I don't know if you could really tell, but it is quite plush. So anyway, here there is another sliding door area with a deck and seating which is really nice and then here we did have cedar again but we painted the beam the same black on the outside the white same as downstairs and we wanted to keep this pretty natural um, we added the same stair screen here right and then here we've got the main loft area so We've got a king size bed here. So it really fills the space and makes it as um, plush as possible. We wanted to make sure we swap out the mattress 
And so that's really great. And some new, again, poly and bark lighting and um, side tables. Um, and also poly and bark lighting up there. Um, uh, on this bottom area was actually white. So we made sure to match that up with um, the same color as the outside, adding the same poles as the kitchen. And we added this table. So April got this table online. It just kind of fit the style and design of the space with, uh, with a fan and a mirror. And um, we kind of searched um, Facebook Marketplace for this typewriter, which we absolutely love. And people could type on it if they want, and it's actually working. Nice little chair. And um, here's a little nook reading area. Um, so we got this donated from our designer, which is, I believe, uh, a copy of a chair that I really, really love. And um, it's super comfortable. So it's just a nice place to kind of like either unwind before you go to bed or once you wake up in the morning, maybe have a coffee there and just relax and um, read the paper. If people do read the paper or read emails. Anyway, that is the loft area. So this is kind of our, our A-frame style loft area, which we love and the shape is kind of taken off, which is really nice. Okay, so that was the loft area. And I don't know if you could hear that, but there is music playing in the background that we always play. And um, that kind of leads you to our kind of secret area going this way, because you're probably wondering, what is that way? Well, you'll have to stay here to find out what's down there. There is April. But you can see that next time. All right, well, that ends the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quick, but it, we just wanted to make sure you saw um, our cabin and just kind of get a tour a little bit. Um, any departing words, my dear? Um, well, we hope you enjoy this cabin as much as we enjoy curating it and, uh, you know, for our friends and family to enjoy. Okay. See you because we have to go because the guest is coming right now. Yep. So yep. we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>